What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to rewrite rational functions, all right? So the goal is basically to take a function that looks something like this and convert it to a form that looks something like this, all right? So the first example we're gonna start with is g of x is equal to three x plus five over x plus one. So in order to convert this into this form, you just need to do some polynomial long division, okay? So basically just take whatever's in the numerator, so 3x plus 5, and we're going to divide that by what's in the denominator, which is x plus 1. Now, in order to divide these, you just look at the first term and divide this into the very first term in here. So x divides into 3x exactly three times. Okay, now we're going to take our answer and multiply it by this whole thing right here, and then we put it down here, right? So first of all, 3 times x, that's equal to... 3x and 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. Whoops, 3, not 5. All right, and then the next thing we're going to do is subtract this whole thing, right? So 3x minus 3x, that's equal to 0. And then here we have 5 minus positive 3, which is just 2. Okay, so here's our remainder. So now we can construct our answer. So first we're going to put the number on top over here, so it's going to be 3. And then we're going to add our remainder. So our remainder was 2. And that's going to go over these terms out here, the divisor, which is x plus 1, right? x plus 1. So this is our answer, but we can actually flip it so it actually looks more like this form over here. So then we can say that our final answer, g of x, is equal to 2 over x plus 1 plus 3. Okay, so this would be our final answer. And just a little tip to help you graph this is you always want to look at the two numbers over here, basically h and k, because these are your x and y coordinates, okay? So this number and this number. So uh, x and y, right? The only difference is you always want to take the opposite number for x. So instead of a positive 1, we want to use negative 1. And then y is still just positive 3. Okay, so this point right here is the point where both of your asymptotes run through, right? So if we had just a little graph right here, just to sketch it really quick. Negative uh, 1, 3, so negative 1, 3, let's just say it's about here. This point is where your two, your vertical asymptote and your horizontal asymptote would run through. Okay, and then again, this is x is equal to negative 1. And this line is y is equal to positive 3, right? And then to graph it, you just want to pick a few points to the left side of your vertical asymptote and a few points to the right. And you would plug those into this equation right here. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.